Hi class, in this video we're going to talk about the hook. Now as I mentioned in the introduction video, the, the hook is that 5 to 10 seconds to capture the attention of the viewer. So let me give you some examples because I think that's going to be the best way to demonstrate what the hook is. But the one thing I'll say on a side note is a good way to kind of get some more examples of the hook is watching or going to BuzzFeed or any of those viral video sites and a lot of people love them a lot of people hate those sites but the headlines that they have those hook headlines are amazing because you want to and you're enticed to click on the headline because of the way it's written so for example someone may a buzzfeed for instance may actually have a headline uh, this elderly woman went to the store and what happens next is unbelievable or uh, this little girl sang the national anthem and you'll never believe what brought the audience to tears. So there's kind of this little and that little sentence, they're giving you the context, what exactly you're going to be getting in the article or video that BuzzFeed has. And then there's that hook at the end to kind of entice you to think, well, why is the audience crying? I really got to find out or what happened next. And so you click on it. So that's a quick aside, but go to buzzfeed.com and I think Upworthy is another one. There's a bunch of these sites out there that really do a good job, love them or hate them, of creating fantastic headlines that hook you in and want you to read. So anyway, let me give you an example. And these are all true, real examples of businesses and what they do. And though these businesses don't necessarily have video on their sites, if I were going to consult with them, here's the intro, here's the hook. What if I told you there was a way to make incredibly tasty, easy to make smoothies that contained all natural ingredients that actually revved up your metabolism to help you lose weight? And five of the most nutritional of these smoothies cause, cost less than 50 cents to make. So again, you're telling the person what they're going to get. They're going to get rest smoothie recipes. But the hook is these five that have the most nutritional capacity to them cost less than 50 cents to make. Again, that's the hook. Here's another one. You'd think that getting hacked would be the worst thing that could happen to your website. Well, that certainly would set you back, but there's something even worse that could happen to your site, and I bet it's something that you never even thought of. So again, the idea there is, in this video, I'm gonna talk about getting hacked and how it stinks, but I'm gonna talk about something uh, that that's even worse than that. The hook is, and I bet it's something you never thought of. Here's another one. Um, let's see. Let me get to the right one. Um, you're not going to believe this, but it's now possible to run your entire home on just solar energy at a really affordable price. In fact, you can have solar energy in your home with no installation and nor equipment cost. And in fact, it's 100% free. So here, it's, we're going to talk about and to show you and demonstrate uh, how you can get cost-effective um, home energy for using solar panels, and the solution is 100% free. Now, if you hear that, you think that's impossible, so you're going to click on it to find out what the, what, what the catch is or what the hook is. So that is basically the hook. It's telling the audience what they're going to get, and then giving something of a little teaser at the end. For instance, like I said, uh, you know, the five of the most nutritional cost less than 50 cents. So that is the hook. It's the way that you're going to start your video. It's going to be five or 10 seconds. Each one of those was no more than five or 10 seconds, probably within the five to eight second mark. Keep it short, keep it pithy, but make it interesting. Give an idea, give the viewer an idea of what the rest of the video is going to be about, and then put that hook in there so that they continue to watch. So that's video number one. The first element is the hook. Now, in all of these videos, I'm probably going to have some content below this video. There's going to be an area, a download area, and on, the, uh, on this training site so that you can download some of the notes that you see here, some of these examples, and other types of information that you may find interesting and helpful. So that's the hook. The next video, we're going to talk about the logo reveal. It's a quick video, but I just want to talk about it because I think it is an important element, though it's optional. So thanks for watching, and let's go to the logo reveal video. Take care.